Hello, my name is Dr. Jerry Simon, and I've got information that most people don't know. So, what if I told you that in the United States, where there are approximately 330 million people, approximately 60 to 100 million people get chronic headaches, which means they get headaches several times a week and that they are interfering with the person's lives. And what if I told you that the vast majority of people with headaches actually never get diagnosed correctly and in fact go years and years in pain, many taking over-the-counter drugs like Advil and Aleve and all of those, and many also taking strong migraine medicines that in fact don't cure anything. At most, they block the pain for a while and sometimes not very much at all. And yet, nothing gets done to solve the problem. So, what if your teeth don't fit together and when you close your teeth together, your bite has a bit of a wobble? Since swallowing is a life essential reflex, if you can't swallow, you die. And in order to swallow, you have to close your teeth together. Try for a moment, try to swallow with your mouth open a little bit, just a little. You'll find it's physically impossible. Your teeth have to touch to swallow. So you go to swallow, but your teeth don't fit. So since it's a life essential reflex, what your brain will do is your brain will try to move your jaw around in whatever way is required to get your teeth together enough to swallow. There you go. So you can get your teeth together, but the problem is it takes a lot of muscle energy and coordination, kind of like threading a needle instead of just closing the door. And there is the problem. So here you are. You need to get your teeth together to swallow because it's a life essential reflex. Your teeth don't fit together. They kind of wobble. And so what happens is your brain gets neurologically annoyed because you have to put so much muscle energy into aiming your jaw to close that you start to clench and grind your teeth. So instead of a simple muscle close, now you've got dozens of muscles literally aiming your teeth to try to fit together, which annoys you and then you start to clench your teeth with a well-intended effort. Because if you could get your teeth to fit together straight and comfortable, you'd stop clenching and grinding and you can't get them together. And so you grind and clench and grind and clench. So everybody knows that if you work your muscles constantly, like if you go to the gym and you lift weights, after a while, you're almost start to hurt. So if you're doing a lot of bite ups, clenching and grinding your teeth, aren't these muscles going to start to hurt? And the answer, of course, is yes. And if you put your hands on the side of your face like this and grit your teeth together, you can feel the muscles all along here start to tense up and bulge. And of course, those heads connected to the neck muscles and it goes into your shoulder. And so realistically, no one is going to be surprised that the muscles in your head and your neck and your shoulders might start to hurt. And if they do, you get a headache. 